Is it possible to intentionally become incontinent? Hello and welcome to today's video, where we will discuss a rather unusual question. Is it possible to intentionally become incontinent? Incontinence is typically seen as an unfortunate medical condition, but let's explore whether someone can deliberately cause it in themselves. What is incontinence? Incontinence is a condition where a person is unable to control their bladder or bowel movements, leading to involuntary leakage of urine or feces. There are different types of incontinence, such as stress incontinence, urge incontinence, and overflow incontinence. Why would someone want to become incontinent? Although it might seem strange, there are some individuals who might desire incontinence for various reasons. These may include fetish or psychological reasons, wanting to experience dependency or vulnerability, or even as a form of self-punishment. Can you intentionally become incontinent? The short answer is yes, it is possible to intentionally become incontinent, but it is strongly discouraged. Deliberately causing incontinence can have serious consequences for your physical and mental health, and it can be very difficult to reverse. How can someone intentionally become incontinent? There are a few methods that have been reported to induce incontinence intentionally. These include 1. Forced fluid consumption. Drinking excessive amounts of fluids in a short period of time can strain the bladder and lead to temporary incontinence. 2. Ignoring the urge to void. Consistently suppressing the urge to urinate or have a bowel movement can weaken the muscles responsible for maintaining continence, leading to involuntary leakage over time. 3. Physical damage. Some individuals may resort to self-harm or seek surgical intervention to damage the muscles or nerves responsible for continence, resulting in permanent incontinence. Risks and Consequences Intentionally becoming incontinent can have serious, long-lasting consequences. These may include 1. Health issues. Incontinence can lead to skin irritation, urinary tract infections, and kidney damage. 2. Social stigma. Incontinence can be embarrassing and lead to social isolation. 3. Mental health. Deliberately causing incontinence can lead to feelings of guilt, shame, and depression. In conclusion, while it is technically possible to intentionally become incontinent, it is not recommended due to the significant risks and potential consequences involved. If you or someone you know is considering this, it is important to seek professional help from a therapist or a medical professional to address the underlying issues and explore healthier alternatives.